Hi everybody, and welcome to this tutorial. Well, actually, it is an introduction for、uh, the whole month of September, where we are going to draw in dry brush technique. Now, I'm very enthusiastic about this, and I hope you are too. I've heard a lot of、uh, reactions already of people that are eager to start. And、uh, of course, on my Patreon page, there are already three、uh, exercises available, where we draw step by step. And here on YouTube, I will do the more、uh, well quicker for the advanced people,、um, and for people that, that just want to watch、uh, not that closely, but want to learn anyway. And、uh, for this introduction,、um, to get you started for the month of September, I wanted to show you、uh, what to purchase、uh, to be able to draw along with me. And that's not much, actually.、Uh, the dry brush technique is、uh, rather cheap、um, because、uh, there's not much needed. With one drop. Of oil paint, you can create huge drawings just with the one drop. But of course, you do need a few、um, well, things to help you、uh, do this. And for one is,、uh, of course, oil paint. And I'm using at the moment the Rembrandt oil paint. You can see it here. It's by Royal Talents, and that's the somewhat Well, better quality. This one is ivory black, so that's very black indeed. And of course,、uh, this is、uh, because it's more quality. You might want to use a drop of sewing machine oil. You can see it here. I hope, yeah. Sewing machine oil, and people already ask me, can I use baby oil?、Uh, well, that yellows up in time, so I would suggest a sewing machine oil, and just a tiny bit, just to make your oil paint a little bit more smooth. The cheaper ones are excellent, also. To use, and、uh, these are、uh, somewhat thinner by nature because they are cheaper. So then you wouldn't even need the sewing machine oil. So oil paint, of course, and then you will need a palette. I use uh, well, it's a bread cutting plank、uh, or a palette and some devices to. To divide your oil paint into a thin layer, you can use a palette knife, of course, or an old brush to、uh, evenly divide your oil paint. So, a palette.、Uh, what you can also do is cut out、uh, pieces of paper to get some shapes going on. That's very well. That that costs nothing. I use、uh, scrap paper for that, so that's also very handy. Then you will need a、uh, an H pencil, graphite, for setting up your drawing, making sketches of what you want to draw, and well, you cannot imagine, but when you Apply a thin layer of oil paint. It is very, very easy to erase. Now, what I use for that is, of course, my beloved Koinor Hartmuth pencil eraser. And this is the kind of eraser that you just、uh, stick into a nose. <laughs> well, no, into a pencil sharpener, and then you can easily. Sharpen this up, and you will always have a very, very sharp. You can see it, yeah, a very, very sharp eraser at hand. But also, 
of course you can use the kneaded eraser which you can uh, well shape in all kinds of forms and then use that too then brushes for starters for a very tiny one a somewhat bigger one an even bigger one and what is very important is that they pop right back into shape and the acrylic ones are just perfect so you do not have to uh, use the very very expensive um, hair ones but just the acrylics they are just perfect what's also perfect and you will need that too is a very broad brush and this is a simple makeup brush and as you can see they pop right back too and you can buy them uh, well quite cheap also so that we will need then also what we will need is a brush that you do not use into your drawing but that you keep clean to get uh, rid of the rubbles that you create when you start erasing your uh, oil paint it gets rub it gives rubble so then you simply replace them with a clean brush uh, for paper I am um, well I'm testing that out I'm new at the dry brush technique too and I really searched and searched the internet and there are no lifetime recordings there are no uh, big tutorials about them but what is mostly suggested is um, <clears throat> watercolor paper and what you want to have then is not the this real smooth one but also not the uh, very grainy ones and I will show you this is for instance uh, the Derwent watercolor pad uh, smooth and uh, what I did is I created this beautiful lady here I'll put it up close so you can see now this is quite grainy but it's just acceptable now here is one that is totally <laughs> not nice at all this is very very grainy indeed look at that it's just too grainy and uh, well that's not what you want what you want is um, a bit in between now this is the Fabriano I did a little landscape here I'll put it up as close as possible so that's a nice texture. Uh, this one too is quite a good texture. And well, maybe it is also uh, what you want to achieve. And well, this is actually uh, a new test. So this is Fabriano again. This is one that's already on Patreon. It is a test run uh, for you to exercise. And um, well, this is also a study that's already on Patreon uh, running to get you going. And here I am using actually Canson paper see it here and that's a pastel paper so this is new to me and I think even that pastel paper is even better but I'm testing this out uh, this is my cat Rembrandt I'll put it up as close as possible for you and just see how smooth that is so I'm still trying to figure out what is best this is a canson test too you can see the grain but you need a little bit of grain 
to get things going. This is Fabriano again. Put it up close. Very nice and soft. So, yeah, it's both quite nice. I think the Fabriano and the pastel paper work best. It's lovely too. Just nice and soft effects there. But you will need some grain, otherwise um, you will get a dirty smudges and then that's not nice at all. Okay, well I've had some um, questions about my Patreon page, uh, where to find it. Well that's quite easy, you just type in Lineke Line Patreon and then you will get there. And on that Patreon page uh, there are already three lessons there to get you started. But also here on YouTube I will um, well, get you updated on this magnificent technique. So I hope uh, you will join me the whole month of September to conquer this technique of the dry brush technique and then we will get started here on the YouTube. So thank you for watching and I will see you upcoming Friday.